Last week, the Chocolate Raptor Center rescued a bald eagle that was suffering from lead poisoning. This bird is one of many nationwide that will be treated for lead poisoning. Uh, lead poisoning is a big issue uh, throughout the country as it relates to raptors. It takes a very little amount of lead to make a big bird, a big raptor, very, very ill or even kill them. It only takes five picograms of lead to infect a raptor with lead poisoning. And the eagle that we got last week does have a toxic level of lead at 11 picograms. Anything above 10 is considered toxic. Lead poisoning in raptors occurs primarily as a result of hunting. When a lead bullet is shot into an animal, small amounts of lead can enter the animal's body. Any part of that animal eaten can transfer the lead poisoning to whatever is eating it. And a lot of hunters think they're doing a favor by leaving them in the woods for the raptors or other scavengers, uh, but actually it can cause lead poisoning. There are steps being taken to help prevent lead poisoning in raptors and other animals. One of the easier ways to get the ball rolling is to ban all lead ammunition. It's uh, actually getting more common. Uh, California a couple years ago banned all lead ammo, primarily because uh, the California condor, which is an endangered species, uh, was getting so exposed to lead. States like North Dakota have also banned lead ammunition, but only on state land. Copper ammunition, while slightly more expensive, can be much less harmful to those that choose to feast on a dead animal. It's a start, but there's a long way to go to ensure the safety of raptors and other scavengers out in the wild. In Chocolate Township, I'm Kellen Buddy, reporting for ABC 10 and the CW5.